Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Emily, and today I am going to be recording my compl my uh, entire collection as of right now. And I'm going to be keeping track of all the books that I have touched and colored in because I'm going to start doing a coloring journal because I recently just got this one. And I'm going to start setting it up. And yeah, I'm gonna record the books I've touched and not touched in because I want to color more of my touched, untouched books I mean this year. Even though it is already May, which is crazy to me. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. So the first part of my collection is my Hannah Calls on collection. So I'm gonna show you that. So the first book I have in my collection is Tales from Atlantis. This is um, a book that I'm planning on coloring for Mermay. I have not colored it yet, but I'm hoping to have it done. It's just a book about mermaids and animal creatures, which is super fun. Or like underwater creatures, anything to do with water basically, which is super cool. I like that one. That's a fun mermaid page. But yeah, this is a gorgeous book, like all of other Hannah Carlson's books, and hopefully I will have this book done, or this page done, for me. That was Tales from the Atlantis, except we have Midnight Masquerade, which is a book I have colored in. I've just done the nameplate page, and I used my polychromos and my prismas, I think. But I recently redid the background because I didn't like the way it was before. I like this a lot better. I mean, I think it makes the characters pop and stand out, which is really nice. And I have not colored any other pages in this. But again, it's one of Hannah Carlson's newer books. So she does it all themed around one idea, which this was probably, probably themed around a party. And I think it is another one of another one of her. I like all of Hannah Carlson's books, so that one is awesome. And then we have Forest Tales from the Forest Kingdom, which I have not colored in as again. So hopefully I'll get this one touched this year. So that one is Tales from the Forest Kingdom. Then we have A City Among the Stars, which I have two pages done in this actually. And my idea for this book is to have a rainbow on each page. So that's my vibe for this book. Oops. And then we have, I have two done in this book. One of my absolute favorite coloring pages I've done. I used my gouache and I used metallic watercolors to do the rainbow. This gear part, I went over all of the black lines with my metallic paints and it took me forever. And I had to use such a fine paint marker, but I really loved the result of it. I used a pencil for it. What pencils did I use? Maybe my Prismas? I think it was my Prismas. I don't remember because I did this page a while ago, but I had a lot of fun with it and the gouache did not bleed through at all. It did warp the page a bit. That is okay. And then I did one this month, or last month, I guess. <laughs> and I used the same technique of going over the black lines with the copper. It didn't come on as like, cohesive but it gives off that vibe I think which is still it still is amazing and I love it and I got to use some of my new fine tech paints I, I mean they're not new but I haven't used them much um but yeah I really like how this one came out and I didn't want to 
I didn't want the hair to clash with the outfit, so I did it as a more like muted palette. And I really like it. I got to use my new Holbein pencils too. But yeah, so that was the city. Um, the tales from the city among the stars. Oh, and if anyone has these books and wants to do buddy color with me, let me know because I'm always down to do buddy color. Then we have tales from the Wit witch's cottage, which I love. I just haven't worked in it. Uh, hopefully I'll get to work in it in October. But maybe if I get in the spooky mood, I'll do it before that. But I could do these ones before. They kind of look like different seasons, which is cool. Ooh, that is cool. Like, you can do them in different... Like, this has snow on it. Oh, that's a good idea. That gives me ideas. Um, yeah, that one's a fun page, too. I've been using these Hannah Carlson books for... Uh, tags too which is helpful on Instagram and I'm hoping I can keep better track of it with my new planner that I got okay so now we're gonna go into Hannah Carlson's older books summer nights being the first one and I do have a page completed onto this one but this is technically an untouched book because I had to buy a new copy of it so the page I did out of that was this one right here. Um, oh yeah, this is gonna be a longer video, so you might wanna grab a drink, like a cup of tea or a snack, because this is gonna be a longer video. But I feel like I could do a lot better of a job with my skin tone, especially. I love the hair I did, even though it was my first time ever doing hair. This is one of my first coloring books ever that I bought in my collection when I first had it, but it got ruined, so I had to buy a new one. I changed the background like three times because I didn't like the way I did it at first, and I used some Mod Podge glitter in the background. This was all done with my Prismas because that at the time, that was the only pencils I owned. I own a lot more now, but it is, um, I really do love this page. I just feel like I could do um, a better job now, which I feel like is most of us have that problem of doing Of being able to do a coloring page better nowadays So that was Summer Nights and Cars on, and cars on. That was the only page I've done in that, but this one this copy is untouched so I get to do that page again Because I wanted the pages the whole the whole all of the pages in her um compilation book she has that page that t t tattoo page again but the book got ruined and I wanted to be able to do all the pages that weren't in that book so I rebought it this is a probably one of my favorite Hannah Carlson books just because of the, re the sentimental value of it being my first book ever purchased that got me into coloring so that was Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. Then we have Daydreams. And this is a group buddy color on Instagram that I'm in. And I have to catch up, but I will be coloring in this book this month. And then the next month I will catch up with the other pages because it's a bi-monthly coloring, coloring book. But again, these books are adorable. I think Elm Colors is trying to complete this book and her copy of it is like stunning. Um, I think she's using a cohesive theme throughout, which is really cool. But yeah, that was Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. I mean, anyone's pages that, that do them. I love everyone's. Like looking their Instagram and seeing everyone's completed pages or videos. It's my favorite. Because you guys are all so talented in your unique ways. And I just love all of them. So I'm glad to be part of this community. And have my own YouTube channel now. Which is awesome. Then we have Seasons. Which I have another page done in this one actually. I did a witch page. But I this one got ruined with the other three in my collection. Actually my Hannah Carlson ones at least.
So we did this witch page. I did this witch page. I The skin is a little blotchy again. I learned to do more circular motions with my skin now rather than straight down, up and down page. I love the, the outfit I did. I gave her patches, which I did that myself. That didn't come with the page. I like the shading I did on the pumpkins and the wit the cat's fur. I like that a lot. And the hat, but there's some things I would change about this page now. So that was the page I only page I did before in seasons. But this page these this one is broken up into different seasons, which is awesome. So there was that page that I did before. And each um, season, which I was saying, is breaking up, broken up into sections by a little jar. So this one would be summer nights. And I think this one is autumn or spring. It's probably spring. So the first section would be spring. So I could color, color a book on a or page on this. Color a book on a the section. It would be fun to color a page on a seasons every season, like to match the season, which would be cool. Then we have magical dawns, which I did do the name plate name plate page on of this one. But this isn't one of the books that got ruined. So this is the nameplate page I did. I got to save the pages I did at least, but I feel like I could do this differently. Cause this is Stardust, so I don't think it would be rainbow. And this one would be rainbow. I do like how I did the rainbow dust with my watercolor. It was a fun experiment. Plus I don't think that it bled through no, it didn't bleed through at all, which is nice. And I love the glitter I added. Um, the background was a little plotchy, because I think I used a Paul or Posco instead of just using acrylic paint. But yeah, so that was the only page I did before in this book. I do like my gems, like my crystal. But I think the downfall of the page is this weird jar I did. I don't really know why I did that. So that was the only page I did in Hannah Carlson, Daydreams Before, and this one is the one that I have not touched, but I will hopefully touch soon. Yeah. So Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson, and then we have Jewelry Box, which is another untouched book. I think I had a page picked out to do. A key? Why did I pick a key? I don't usually do keys. Maybe I wanted to practice something. Or maybe it was a tag. Tags on Instagram are very helpful to get pages done too. Ooh, that one's fun. I like that one. Ooh, there's a charm bracelet. That's cool. I've heard mixed reviews about this book. People say they it's not one of their favorites of Hannah Carl's on. But I love all of Hannah Carlson's work. So that was Jewelry Box. And then we have Spirit Animals. Again, this is not one of her most popular books, I think. But I love it. I think it's adorable. Like this page, I've seen done a few times. And I think it's so cool. Plus unicorns are probably one of my favorite mythical creatures. Um, I've seen this page done a few times. That's cool. Like the tigers, there's- I get the spirit animal idea. That's a fun idea. Anna Carlson is... Super talented artist. And I think that's why I just like collecting books, because you get to look through- look and see all of these amazing designs like that's fun raven 
a spider, but it's, it's um, futuristic. That's cool, a crab. I've seen this page done a lot and I've, I love it. With the blues and such. That was Spirit Animals. And then the last book I have in my collection is her compilation book. And I don't normally buy compilation books, but this one had 11 new drawings, so I needed it. <laughs> Um, but it has a lot of her favorite drawings that she's ever done in it. So I probably won't touch this book unless it's a new design until I at least finish the page in the original books. Um, but I do love it a lot. Okay, so that was my Hannibal Carlson collection and I'm going to be back in a minute with my Maria Trolley collection because that's the next one on my shelf and I will see you guys in a minute. Um, I'm back with my Maria Trolley books. So first off, I'm going to show you my Botanicum, which I do have page colored in this one. I just recently finished this one for... A buddy color in April with winter. I really love this page. I used my Albert Duros, King Art gel pens that I just got, which is nice because they don't really transfer onto the other page. I did a tutorial on these flowers if you guys want to learn how to do it. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. The Albert Duros did not bleed through much. There's like a little foot right there I noticed, but there is no bleed through really which is nice so that was actually I've colored more in this book so I've done a few more pages but I one of these books got ruined so I had to get a new copy so this was the first page I did in that I didn't like it very much the background is weird um and then this part is I feel like I just I feel like I could do a better job nowadays but then I did a mermaid page which I do like but I didn't like the border the border is really weird but this is probably I like the result of the page the blue took me a really long time to do so that is the only other two pages I've done in Botanicum but I'm excited that I get to do them again in my new copy so that was Botanicum Moon Valley. So Moon Valley is an untouched book. But I do really want to color in this. I have one page picked up for this month. And I think that I want to do like night colors with this book. Because it is like a moon valley. And that would be cool to have them all at night. But yeah, so that was Moon Valley. Then we have Twilight Garden. This is an untouched book. I have a newer copy, which doesn't have the name of the plants in it. So I don't know why her newer ones do and her older ones don't. I know you can get like a special edition of this book that has the names of the flowers. But I think this was her first book ever to come out. So the styles, her style has changed over the years, but I do like both of her styles, her older styles, her older, her older style and her new style. I think that it's both of them are pretty. This one is Nightfall. Maybe the for the Moon Valley one should just have a, a moon in it, and the Nightfall one should be the one with the with the night theme book pages. But this one, does this one, this one doesn't. Yeah, this one has the names at the back as well. But this is another untouched book. That I haven't touched yet. That's a cool page.
Yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear my boyfriend's music in the background. He likes to listen to music when I'm recording videos. <laughs> Next up I have Luna, and I think I have one page colored in this one. Um, this is a page I did before I started my YouTube. I made my boyfriend pick a pages pages out for me because I'm like a really indecisive person and I can't pick ever. Um, but I did this page and I made it look like me because my boyfriend calls me his little sunflower, so I like it. I used my polychromos. Yeah, I used all of my polychromos for this page, and I really like the result of it. This is probably one of my favorites. That I've done too. Um, yeah, so that was Luna. And we have Floral, which is another one of my touched books, I guess. I've done a lot of Maria Trolley pages, I've realized. What pages have I done on this one? Oh, yeah, this one. These, I think I, okay, so I got these pencils from Walmart, and I didn't like them. They wrecked my page, if you can see that. So, that was annoying. So I switched to my polychromos halfway through, after I did this little creature, after I did the little girl and the little frog. But that was frustrating, because I thought they were going to be a good, like, budget pencil, but they were not. I think they were this... There were a Stedler pencil, I just don't remember which one they weren't. I don't think they were the Egosofts, because I have those ones now, and they're much better than the the ones that I got from Walmart, but I did not like doing that, so. I do like that page, though, and I don't think I would redo it any other way than that. But this book, again, is gorgeous, so floral, flora. And then I have her compilation book because it had new illustrations and I would wanted it based off the- does this one have- yeah it does have a list of the names at the back and it has page numbers which some of her books don't so you have to like count to find it which is kind of annoying. This has a bunch of her pages in one book, so I'll probably color that, again, one of the pages in this book before I touch her new one. But I have pre-ordered her newest book, which is coming in the English version June, I think, so next month. But those were all of my Maria Trolley books. Next up, I'm going to show you my Beauty of Horror collection. Beauty of Horror collection, so I will be right back with that. Okay, so I am back with my Beauty of Horror collection. Now this, this stuff is creepy, so if you don't want to see this video, um, or this part of the video, you should skip forward. I will leave a timestamp in the description where that this section is. If I can figure out how to do that, still very new to Beauty of Horror. <laughs> Still very new to YouTube. I don't know why I said BD4. Oh, I gotta turn my light back on. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So, I have the Tar Tarot, 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 Tarot collection. I have the physical cards in the book. I've done one in here. I've done the Fool card. I use my Black Widows. I do like how it turned out. I mean, I feel like I would have done different colors. But I think I was just playing around with it, so that's okay. I like the background, that's kind of cool. I started this one, I guess, but I never finished it. That's cool. Did I m match it off him? Like, he has like versions of the book, like the cards. So, oh yeah, I kind of did. I did it in my own way, but I kind of matched it off of that. But. I like the the full card is cool. Honestly, I don't even care. I should finish this though. 
like it's not the worst not the best but like it's not the end of the world i get to color it in my coloring book too and it was just it's just fun right i need to stop stressing and being like oh my books need to be perfect they really do not so that's cool and i did that it's, i like just collecting these because then it's like cool artwork um to have so that was the tarot cards then the tarot card book i have and i did one page on of this the moon i really like how i did this page i used my black widows again <laughs> surprisingly um but i made him look like he broke out of jail <laughs> um and i used my glaze pen for the water and I made it look like blood down here. And I used my glaze pen up there. And I thought it was just fun. And I like the bone I did. So I should try to do a different pencil on this. But I really like this. And this one. Um, yeah. It has like a description of the card. Like this card. The description of the card on each like page. But, like, if you look through it, you can see, and it tells you how to play or how to read cards, so that's fun. But I love, I love, um, Alan Roberts style. I guess it has duplicates. Does it have duplicates? What is this back here? It does have duplicates. Oh, it has different versions of the cards. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. So that was Beauty of Horror tarot card coloring book. And we have Beauty of Horror, the first, the first one, which I do not have anything colored in this one. I have one picked out for this month because it gave me mermaid vibes, but creepy. So hopefully I'll get to that this month. But this book is super creepy and super fun. And yeah, I have like two sides of my personality. Like I'm a rainbow pastel loving girl with like unicorns tattooed on her. But I love horror too. Like my boyfriend is the complete opposite of me. Well, this could have been a mermaid page too. That's a double page spread though. That would take me forever to do. This, this, even though it's a pattern page, this would be fun to do too. Just mindless coloring with like different groups. Yeah, so that was the first tail. We have the second, oh, this isn't the tail. This is the second one. Mm -hmm. I think for Galena, Galena, I would try to pick a color combination for her and just stick with that. Because she's featured in a lot of his books. So... Beauty of Horror 2. Then we have Beauty of Horror 3. Which, this one is uh, like a playground themed, I think. The Haunted Playgrounds, which is a cool theme. Um, it's just like about playgrounds. Galenia is in it again. Well, that's a fun page. Clown page. But yeah, oh, the cards, playing cards, that's fun. Oh, this is, oh, that's cool. It's ironic since he came up with his own brand of tarot cards and he has them in his book. Oh, that's fun. Big circus page. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that was B for three. 
And then we have BD4-4. I think this is BD4-4. Creature, feature. I don't really know how to read Times New Roman. I think this is 4 because it's before the 5. And this one would be 6 because it's after. This one is like... A bunch of like famous people. I've done one page on of this book, didn't I? I think I have no. I haven't done a page on this one because this is all like this is all like T. Oh, my book just opened up. Okay, that's different. That's okay. I guess my book's falling apart. I guess I can get this one, Spiral Brown. But it has like TV shows, like this is Stranger Things, and it has like horror movies in it. I don't know why that happened, but I'll just put that back there. That sucks. Um, I don't remember what this movie is from, but The, Sh the Shining, I think. Yeah, it has a bunch of shows. I think this is like Saw. No, that's something else. But yeah, it has a bunch of different TV shows and movies in it. I think this is Godzilla. Yeah. So that's fun. Like this page. Would be fun to do. And like match all the characters to what they look like in real life in the movies that would be fun i don't know why that page popped out of the book but i'm gonna have to be careful with that maybe i'll just get spiral round spiral bound i'm not it's back in there it's fine i'll just leave it yeah whatever and we have bd45 which is haunt of fame this one has a bunch of famous people and famous tv shows in it as well um, but I've done one page on a fear, the Tommy Lee and, um, what's her name? What's her name? I don't remember. I know her name. What is it? Pamela Lee. Pamela Lee. Pamela, I don't know. I had a lot of fun doing this page. I added all these stickles on the outside and I made them look like zombies. I think I did this page exclusively with watercolors. I didn't use any pencils except on his hair to give it that spiky look but i really like the zombies they look uh, like i feel like i did a really good job making them look like zombies my boyfriend picked this one out he's a musician he does a lot of things he's a musician he's a tattoo artist he's a very talented person which is intimidating he says he's did that because of me but i don't believe him it did bleed through a little bit the red and the black so I'm going to have to cover that up, but that's okay. But this book is super cool. It has a bunch of, again, famous people in it. I would have to see who they are. I know this one is Alan Robert. No, no, not Alan Robert. The guy who did the soup can. Why do I keep forgetting? And Bob Lee. That's fun. Uh, who's that? I wonder if my boyfriend didn't see these people. I need to show him that page when he gets back from the store. But I really do like Star Wars. Oh, I should have done that page. That would have been cool because it's made. The, it was made. The, it was made the fourth today. This would have been cool to do. Maybe I'll do that next year. Okay, I had to re-record this video because. It got lost. I had this video all recorded and then I had to re-record it, so that's fun. Because the second part didn't get lost or like corrupted, but this part seemed to have got corrupted. Then the last one I have is his newest one. I have the other two that he's coming out with pre-ordered, so I will get those when they come, but this is all art piece, artwork. So famous pieces of art. Like that page is cool. And yeah. That 
haven't colored in this one either. Hopefully I will because it would be fun to do that. And I love Ellen Roberts stuff. Okay, so that was all of my Beauty of Horror by Ellen Roberts. Next up is my Johanna Bassford collection. So I'm going to get that and I will be right back. Okay, I lied. I forgot I had two more of his books. I have the Beauty of Horror, of Horror Tricks and Treats, which is untouched, but it's single-sided, so I could do marker work in this book. So I'll definitely color this at Halloween. And then I have his Christmas one as well. I have a whip in this book. It's like my only whip, I think. Actually, no, that's lie. I had another whip that I literally just found. But I forgot about this one. I started doing it with my Neo Colors. Um, so I'm going to have to finish that at Christmas. But it's cute. I'll have to fix some of it because it's a little like that little gingerbread guy. Looks a little patchy. But yes. Those are the last two Alan Robert books I have. Okay. I realized I got cut off in my last part, but I was just going to say that I'll be back with my Johanna Bassard collection. Um, so this is How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. This is just her drawing book that has a few coloring pages in it. And I haven't touched this yet, but I bought this one because there's a few pages in her books that are drawing ones. And I wanted to kind of work on her, like, do some of her style and my style to match hers. So I bought that one. And then we have 30 Days of Creativity. And I have not touched this one. But I saw someone doing something really cool with it. That has made me want to... Every child is an artist. And we want to color in it more. So that would be fun, but this book will also help me practice my drawing in her style as well with the How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. Then I have Ivy and Inky Butterfly. I have not touched this book yet. I really want to um, because I think it's cool. I want to read the story and like match it, match the character to the description of it because I feel like this would be cool to have in my classroom one day if I finish it as like a book for them to read and look at. I'll probably have it like laminated and stuff obviously but I feel like that would be really cool to do. Um, or I could just keep it for myself. But next up we have The Lost Ocean, which I haven't touched, but I have plans to this month. I want to color this mermaid page at the end. Um, but I like this page. It's fun. I like this book. It's fun. It's all underwater themed pages. And I like that. Turtle Mandela page is fun. Turtles are my favorite animal. So, I love turtles. Then we have Johanna's Christmas. Has some stuff on it, I guess. I really don't know what that is. That's fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, I have a whip in this. From last Christmas, I got some ink tents from my lovely boyfriend, and I was coloring this page with them. And I didn't finish it, so hopefully I'll finish that this Christmas. Um, I should keep track of my whips too. Yeah, so then I have Secret Garden, the one that is not the special anniversary one, and I did finish the nameplate page in this. I really like the muted palette I did. I think it's very pretty. I think I used my polychromos for this. But I have not colored in any of the other parts of the book. Which I want to, but see, some of her books have like 
there are draw your own books, so I'd have to kind of use the, the, the inky, the other book to get inspiration from it and draw if I wanted to do that. I noticed something though that's gonna bug me if I don't fix it. This little mark right there. Okay, that fixed it. Then I have Secret Garden, the Anniversary Edition, which has, I think, some new illustrations in it. I think it was this one that was new. Only this was, I don't think this is in the other book, but I bought it because I needed it, because, you know. I'll definitely won't color in this one until I color the page. Like I'll color, like I was saying, I would color this one of the pages in this book and if I wanted to do it again, I would work in this book, if that makes sense. So I'll probably do the nameplate page in this one again in a different color scheme. Um, yeah, so then I have Worlds of Wonder. I haven't touched again. I really do like her world's books. They're really fun and different from her other books. But yeah, I need to work in this book more. Then we have Enchanted Forest, which is another one of my first coloring books I got, but I got a new copy of this recently, and I gave my old copy away, but there's this double page spread, which I have no idea how I would color, but this is fun. I've seen this page done a few times, like in different like day times, which would be fun to do. I think my first copy ever, which I don't have because I ruined that one, but I've bought this book a couple of times. I did this page and uh, I haven't, I did not like how it turned out at all. Plus I used Sharpies, so I did actually ruin the other page. But I kind of wish I would have kept those books so I could see my progress as I continue on coloring. But then I have Magical Jungles. And I have the nameplate page done in this one as well. I like my color scheme I did. I use my Black Widows for this. I don't know why it, my pages are all like mucky. But they're all mucky. And what is that? Whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter, it's just the nameplate page, but. I like how I added this like yellow or this red and green leaf in it and these orange ones. I was just testing like blending and stuff with my black widows and I really do like how it turned out. So that's that page. And the rest is just a bunch of jungle theme books pages obviously. And she has a bunch of single page is at the back. And then, yeah. Which is super fun. So that was Magical Jungle by Johanna. Then we have Worlds of Flowers. And I have the name page done in this one as well. And I love how this one came out. I used only Crayolas and some Stickles, obviously. And I really love it. I love the background I did. And I was gonna go over this with purple, but I didn't like the look of it. So the only one that's in purple is that one, but... I really do like this page. 
probably one of the most favorite nameplates I've done so far. And I did my name with purple so it matches the aesthetic of it. But I love that. Then we have her newest book, which is Rooms of Wonder. And I have not colored in that one as well. There's a few pages that I do want to color. Actually, her newest book is Small is Small Victories. I forgot to get that. This is, page is very white. Like, this page is, like... The paper definitely has changed in these books. It's not as, like, yellowy, if you notice that. But... I do like this book as well. I need to color more in her books. I haven't really colored in any of them. I think it's because they intimidate me because everyone does such amazing work in them and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I can do that and I don't want to ruin my books, but I've been feeling a lot better about my coloring recently and I, yeah. So hopefully I'll get to these books this year and I will color more. Um, next up on my shelf is my Mythagoria books. So I will be back with those. Oh wait, I need to show you Small Victories. Let me just get, even though I was prepared and didn't have it over here. I'm just gonna grab it, because it's just over here. Okay. So Small Victories, this is just a smaller version of her book. It has, um, smaller version of her books and it's just something you can do for a quick coloring when you don't have time it has like little little small pages on each one so you could color one of this and come back to it later and finish it but it is really a cute book Ooh, that's a fun page there's a palette that I, was, I can use that with this one yeah so that's small victories and that is all of my johanna bassford collection so I'll be back with my Mythagoria collection. Okay. So I am back. I had a little break for a sec, but you guys wouldn't know that because I'm splicing these together. But my Mythagoria collection. So first up, I have Vengeful Forest by Shelley Carroll. Um, so this is the horror series for the Mythographic. So if you don't like horror again, I'll put a timestamp in the description so you can skip this part. Um, so this book I really like. It's creepy. I don't know. That's like, it's just, so this is just like creepy videos. I, I think this is about the forest, but I really do like her art style. So Mythographic and Mythagoria have different artists that do books so they're very cool yes and again these are all untouched because i just got them recently so i have not had any time to color in them then we have midnight Gab cabot cabaret cabaret by fa 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 Bianca? Bianca? And this one I believe is like a story, kind of like parties. Has a lot of back, black in the backgrounds. Um, I feel like I've seen a few of these done and they always come out super cool. So I'm excited to get to color in this when I have a chance. Yeah, okay. Then I have Gory Underworld by Alessandra Valrici. This one does not have as much black, so you can add more color in it, but it's still it's still stunning. Like the artwork in this, like that. That's cool. I like that one. But again, if you don't like gore or things like that that's totally okay everyone has their own unique style right but super cute or not cute but you know what i mean then i have three of fabiana astasia's mythagorias she has so the darkest desires this is a romance book 
So it's like romantic things about romance. I love her characters she draws. They're so cute. It's so cool to see her do a horror book because usually she does cute fairy tale things. So that one was Darkest Desires. Then we have Frozen Nightmares, and this one is a chilling horror book. And then it's all about so ice cut horror books, which is cool again. I'm hoping to color more in these books. So if anyone has these ones and wants to do a body color, let me know and I will happily do one with you. And we have Night Terrors, which is a Fabiana Astasia book, again. This one is about night horrors, I guess, like things that would be in your nightmares. gorgeous book and if anyone wants like a full flip through I'm sure that they're out there but I can also do flip throughs just let me know in the description and I will do a flip through for you okay so that was my Mythagoria books I'm going to grab my Mythographics now and I will that will be the last collection in this part so I'll be right back okay I am back with my Mythographics. So first I will start with Diego Diego Vassaberg, which is his first book in this series, Illusion. And this is all mesmerizing Marvel, so things that trick our brain. Um, but it's a really cool book. I like it that it is a bit trippy. Um really cool like there's a mushroom on a turtle shell which is sometimes I can't really tell what the illusion is so you have to kind of figure that out but it's cool to see once you figure it out like this one is like a face but it has a beehive behind it there's another one that's I really like um, where is it? This one. So the, there's a person there, but it's the foreground that's the person. So like this rock is her lips, the rock and the shadow are her lips, the little fish are her nose. It's kind of cool to see. So I think if someone would color this, it'd be cool to see how they would interpret the person. Like would they make the nose shape more defined or would they leave it as is but it is a really cool book so that is my first mythographic I have um then I have Crystal Kingdom by Veronica Kalinsky Klink Klink Klinkska um I like this one it's all crystals and it's really cool to see her interpretation of like crystals and i'm really excited to see how people color this book i haven't seen any pages done yet but i haven't really looked for them um but i really like how the book i i, I think it's beautiful i've heard mixed reviews about this book too but i think it's a really cool concept and I'm excited to color in this book when I get a chance to. Oh wait, is it I? I think I, I think I, I think I saw, I think I lied. I think that people have colored this book this last month. Come, coloring Bumblebee and Amy Ward. Yeah, they they colored this page, I believe. Which both of their pages are gorgeous. I think it was this page. I could be wrong though. So yeah, I really want to color in this one when I get a chance to. Then I have Sha Shangri-La, Shangri-La by Alexander Fushi. And this is like fantasy worlds. And I believe that this this one is super 
super cool too. Has some really cool fantasy worlds. Like that's cool with a little dog. I think these are so fun. So another one of my untouched books. But this one I feel like my boyfriend would like me to color because he has this little demon guy on his chest and he's like very he likes Japanese art a lot. That's his style. That's cool too. So that was Shangri-La by Alexander Fishi. And then I have Dream Reaper by Alexandra Fishi. And this is Extraordinary Rivalries. So like things that I believe that this is like people who fight, right? Because rivalries rival my dyslexia. Um Revels? I don't even know. I'm gonna stop trying to say that word. But this is gorgeous. Okay. I saw a page where someone did these butterflies and they were stunning. So might have to do that on a page. But this book is again like the art in these books are so creative. Like I don't know how people come up with this stuff sometimes, but that's why I love coloring books so much. Then we have one Wonder Wanderlust. I think it's Wanderlust, but I don't know why there's an A sound there. Wanderlust. Hmm. This is an advent an exotic adventure book, but this one has those pesky little hidden objects that nobody likes. So you have to cover those up. But use, if you just use a white paint marker, they're not too hard to cover up. And then um, lots of people have tutorials on how to cover them up on YouTube. So you can watch those and cover them up. Because like some of them just don't make sense. Like a Game Boy in the middle of this Japanese style picture doesn't make any sense. But again, this book is stunning. And uh, yeah, so that was the last Alexandra Fishi book. Next up, we have Aquatic by Joseph Cant Cantenberra. And I have done one page in this book. I did this koi fish lady, and I gave it to my boyfriend. He has it in his tattoo studio, um, which is just our technically our living room. So, mm. um, But I don't really use it, so it's just his room. I'm in the kitchen, so... I got little, I got the, the bad stuff, but you can cover up the hidden objects. This one is kind of weird because I went over it with Prismas when it was, I just didn't, I don't know what wrong, wrong, but you can see that there's some other hidden objects that I covered up that you can't even see. I don't remember what was on this page, but yeah, I left the rubber duck in because I thought it made sense. But I really like this one. This one is probably one of my favorite pages too. I use lots of mediums. As you can see, it's a little messy, but that's okay. So I'll give that back to Jacob. And then I think that was an aquatic. Yeah, it was because I wonder if I can. Anyways, this is just all underwater creatures, fish, just anything to do with water. It's a gorgeous book, so I need to work in this one more. I think I wanted to do this one for Mermaid, but I decided not to for this time because I found another page in a mythographic book that I liked more. But if I had more time, I could get to it. Oh, there's another mermaid page I didn't even see. That one was pretty. That's an octopus, but I guess it could count for Mermaid. Um, yeah, so that was aquatic. Then we have animals. I found this one on Facebook Marketplace for a very good deal. I got this and another book for I think like 10 bucks. So that was good because usually they're like $25 Canadian. But this one is one of the first mythographics, I believe. So it's a bit different. And I've noticed that the newer paper in these books aren't as thick as these ones. These ones are pretty like thick and nice. So I don't know why they changed it, but this is just a bunch of animals. 
and I've seen some people like color this in and then have like a plain background like one solid color and the image really pops off the page so I think I will do that with this book I think I want to color this frog <laughs> he's super cute but I love Joseph Katenbang um, his work he's a Filipino artist and I have um, my boyfriend is Filipino so I try to support those that uh, the Filipino artists that I can because and anyways and his artwork is gorgeous I found this one also I found this one where did I find this one I don't know it was 25% off I think I found this at Indigo and it was like 25% off $22 so I was like, yes, please, mine. Or did I buy this one on Facebook Marketplace too? I don't know. But this one is super cool. What's this one about? It's about fantasy worlds. So fantasy things. That would probably be that could be classified as a mermaid page, probably. I feel like the hidden objects aren't as bad in these ones. The umbrella doesn't make sense, but I don't know. This is a gorgeous coloring book. So, yeah. That was Image by Joseph Katenbang. Then we have Wild Winter. This is a frozen coloring book like a book about wild winter I see his style has gotten a lot lighter too so that's cool to see I've seen this page done a few times and it turns out amazing yeah. okay so that was wild winter then we have Voyage. This one is about magical journeys. This one is one of his newer ones, I think. And this one does not have hidden objects in, which is awesome to see because those things are annoying. One thing though that the newer ones have is these weird light sources. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to color them like these. I don't really know how I would color those, so I'm gonna have to see if someone has like a tutorial on that or what, but I will figure that out and I will think about it, but that was a voyage. Um, next up we have Aviary. This one, this one I had to order twice because it got lost in the mail and Amazon was like, yeah, sorry, uh, your book's gone and we can't find it and it was super annoying but then I reordered it and this copy actually did show up so that was nice I had to do that with a few of my books I noticed one time I didn't realize the book didn't show up because of school and they were like yeah why didn't you get rid of this tell us the sooner and I'm like dude I'm a busy person I don't really check things that much but I got shamed by Amazon for not getting a refund sooner this one is super cute some really cute pages and some really like intricate pages again we do not have any hidden objects so that is awesome and it's all things that fly so I definitely need to work in this book some more or not some more I need to work in it because I've never worked in it but yeah so that was aviary and then we have Odyssey and I have one page in this but I gave it to my mother because she likes the little mermaid so she has that hanging up in her craft room in her house. But I'm going to insert a photo. If I can figure out how to get it to work properly this time. But here it is. I used Prismacolors and I actually followed a tutorial by Coloring Elm. Or Elm Colors. On YouTube. Um, so yeah. I don't really know about color longs. Like, I kind of feel like you're copying them. But that's like how you learn too. So I don't know if it's okay or if it's not okay. Like, do I need to put my own spin on it? But, yeah. So this is Odyssey. And it is about mythic journeys. And I definitely need to work more 
in this book because it's so gorgeous. Like, it's stunning. I just love his artwork. Like, it's amazing. Like, this page is kind of, it's got a sexy dude on it. <laughs> just joking. Not really. Anywho. That was Odyssey. Then we have Labyrinth. This one is so cool. It's like a bunch of mazes. And it's just, it's so cool. Like there's a one that's a Rubik's Cube. And I feel like it'd be so fun to color it in the bright colors that there it is. But, I don't know. I definitely want to work in this book. Like this one, it's see-through. But like what if you colored each of the frames in like a diff like the color that's associated with it? That would be fun, I think, but I don't know. I do like this page, this book a lot. This one is new to me too. And then we have Magical Earth, which I have not looked through. This one came dirty and I don't know why. So that was kind of annoying, but it's okay. This is all like, creatures that live they're magical creatures i think i saw this page done recently and it was so fun so i would really want to do that page eventually okay so that was magical earth and that was my last cat and bear cat and one next up we have fabiana astasia and the first one of her mythographic books I have is Fairy Wonderland. This is a fairy book, obviously. Featuring little fairies. And I think this one doesn't have any hidden objects in it. Just those light sources that I don't understand. Like those, I'm going to have to figure out. But it is a stunning book. Fabiana is an amazing artist and I love her work. So I'll definitely have to color. Oh, there's a. That's cool. I could have done that one from Rome. Mm. Anyways, so we have Frozen Fantasies. This one does have hidden objects in it, but it is still gorgeous. Even though that there's a little pitcher and a little drum and a little glass of iced tea over here. And a dog bowl and a little mp3 player. The artwork itself is still so pretty. So that was Frozen Fantasies. That one was all about ice and winter, I think. We have Enchanted Castles. This one has hidden objects in it as well. So we have, these are all like castle buildings, I believe, which it makes sense because it's called Enchanted Castles, Emily. This one is cool. That one's cool. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I saw this page done recently. It was really pretty. So that was Enchanted Castles. And we have Dream Garden. I think this is a Floral Fantasies. It has hidden objects in it. But it's gardens with, like, fantasy elements in it. And it is a very pretty book as well. I just need to color more in these. I have a book picked out for this month for Mermaid that I want to color in. Because there's also a hashtag for it. I just don't remember what page I picked. There's one of Fabiana's, I remember that. But yeah, that was Dream Garden. Then we have Cosmic Spirits. This one does not have hidden objects in it. And it's all about like astro signs, tarot cards. So I do want to color my sign in here when I get a chance. I'm a Sagittarius, so 
I want to color this one. This guy. But I love the little um, writing that they have that she put in. That's really pretty. And I've seen people just go over that with gold paint or gold um, watercolor or metallic watercolor. And it looks so gorgeous on the pages. So that's that. And then I think this was the one that I picked a page on of. No, did not pick. Maybe it was, it was, was it Paradise? What book was it? I don't remember. That's bad. So what happens when you record your completed page video? This one is all, this one doesn't have hidden objects in it either, but this is all um, amazing animals. So the different types of animals in the book, which is fun. That was cool. So yeah, I think it's like, animals that are blended together with different things so that was fabiana astasia and then my last book which is paradise it is a artist coloring book of glorious worlds and this one does have hidden objects in it um it's also untouched But I do want to color more in these books. So yeah, if you anyone wants to see a flip through of any of these books, please let me know and I will do that for you. Um, so I wrote down all of my books that I have on my first shelf. So it was a total of 65 coloring books. I had touched 13 of them. 52 are untouched, so that means as of right now, with the what I have down, I have 80% of my books are untouched. So... It's going to go up, by the way. So that was my first part of this page. Um, and I will be, I will upload this, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you want to do any body colors with me in any of the books on this first shelf, and I will happily do body color with you. Okay, well, um, bye!